we're going to replace the uh, pull cord on our Skidoo snowmobile. So we have the uh, new part and the old part. We already took the old part off. And so I just kind of want to point out the differences between them. So this is quite tight. And so what happened to our, our old part was that the plastic sheared off here. These brackets have sheared off. And it that's comes right apart actually. And that's why, yeah. And that's why the uh, pull cord failed. And uh, so when you take these off and you see it all loose like it is here, um, then you need to replace it. Uh, you can, I think you can replace these little parts individually, but it's easier to just get the whole unit and replace it. So that's what the dealer recommended anyway. Yeah. So, uh, and also there's differences in the, in the cord too, but anyways, let's put the new one on and, uh, see how it goes. So it was like perfectly nice weather all week. And then we decided to get a snowstorm right when, uh, the part came in. So we're going to do this in a snowstorm. So you already took the exhaust off in the in the old part, so yeah. So they're only hang, they're only hang, attached by springs. From there, shoot. From there to there, in different variable locations, and they just easily just just pop them off, and the exhaust just basically comes right out like that, which gives you more room to work. So, this is where the recoil goes, right here, bolts onto there, four bolts. Actually, you can see where that plastic shredded, see that pink bit from the old part? Yep. So, when you said that when uh, you heard a bunch of pieces go loose, that's what that was? Yes. make sure there's no loose pieces in the in any moving parts <clears throat> oh yeah that's a good piece to get out I think it's all good now so if you have loose pieces in there and you try to pull it and loose pieces move around, it might shred the new part. The new part's not cheap. No. The hardest part now is getting it back on there. I'll have enough there, so I need you to hold this like here. Yep. And I gotta try to thread this up this wire here. So the cord goes through this little spring thing here and then it and then it comes out where you pull it and then you attach the handle Yeah, so they come with that looped in there because it's already pre-tensioned. <clears throat> Which is going to make it a little bit easier to put it on. Yeah, because sometimes you have to crank these back four or five times in the cylinder to get them under tension, but they already come in tension if you buy the whole part new. Alright, so lining up the holes is going to be the fun part. Go ahead. The easy ones are these top ones because they're really accessible. 
Yeah, the bottom one is gonna be the worst. Only bottom one on one side is bad. These are torques torque bits that the screws are, they're torque, I don't know which one, it's like a 30 I think it is. Yeah, these uh, semi-new snowmobiles are getting tighter and tighter to work in. <laughs> Okay, so I'm holding the pull cord while he unties it. Okay, I'm gonna take the tension off. Okay. Okay. Now, is that, that knot's nice and good, eh? Yeah, okay, cool. Screw in. The worst one to put in? Yep. You saved the best for last. Yep. Always. I'm just going by feel. <laughs> just to tighten it up, hand tight it, and I'll get the. Yeah, this job's not difficult. It's just kind of hard when your hands are cold. It's cold outside and it's tight in there. Well, I lost the footage from me uh, taking it off, but it was a minus 20 day when I decided to take this off. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was a cold day. done so there we go that part's on so now we'll go back and put the exhaust back on I already know by, it's, by the it's, it's connecting yeah. so before we give it a good test we'll get this exhaust back on that's the tricky part Diddly dun dun dun. Alright. Now I gotta remember which one came where and where were they were connected and how come. I think they're all roughly the same. But watch your fingers on these bad boys. Oh. Yeah, I would say cl stay clear of yeah. fingers. And eyeballs.
Well, I thought ahead. I just lost two. I can't find them down there. But I planned ahead and I got a couple extras. They're just in the truck. I'll go grab them. How much were they? Too much. Too much. <laughs> yeah, we went up to the uh, Skidoo dealership there in Bancroft and uh, picked up the part, picked up these screws and... I previously lost one when I took it off. Well, they look pretty old anyways. And, yeah. So, they gave me a bag because I was like, I need some more springs for the exhaust. It's funny, the lady says up there when I grab them, she's, she says, oh, you must have lost one when you took it off. And I was like, yep. <laughs> Happens to everybody. Yeah, very nice people up in Bancroft dealership. It's just checking the fluids. It's been about a week and a half since it last ran, uh, just because we were waiting for the part. And uh, so it might be a little tough to get started, but I'm pretty confident it'll start pretty well. Silly. What was it off? <laughs> the key's not even APA. Oh, well, that would help, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay, so the key would help. That's how you replace a recoil, folks. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. It took us like 20 minutes. That's how it's done. Hope this video helps you. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry I lost the footage of taking it off, but at least you can uh, have a look to see how to put the uh, recoil on. Uh, if you like what you uh, are watching, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And like and comment and let us know if this video helped you uh, install a recoil on your snowmobile. Thanks for watching. <laughs> see ya.